Yum, yum. That is delicious. Hello friends. Welcome to Butterfly Meadows Home and Farm. Today I want to make biscuits. And I just want to show you how I make them. And you can put your own twist on it. And make them however you want to make them. So let's just jump right in. So first we're going to start with some flour. And I'm going to use that's a little over a cup. That's about two cups of flour, maybe a little more. And the reason I'm using two cups is because I know that'll make this pan about full. And I just know that from experience. So I've got my flour in here. And you're gonna need some fat. Um, to make your biscuits. And today I'm gonna to use Crisco. You can use butter, um, or ghee, or lard um, to make your biscuits. You don't have to use Crisco. Let's get some shortening. Now, measurements, measurement wise, we're gonna go with about that much. And that's probably about a fourth of a cup. My hands are clean. You're gonna want clean hands to do this. Just have clean hands, clean nails. And what you wanna do is you want to squeeze that fat, whatever you have, in which I have shortening, and I'm taking it, I'm squeezing it into the flour and making, mixing it in, um, into the flour. Now you, hopefully you can see this, how it looks kind of what I call mealy. It looks kind of mealy. And now I'm going to add, and this is optional, and I should have, I could have done this before I added the shortening, but I'm going to add about a tablespoon or less of sugar to my flour and my Crisco. Just mix that around. Now I'm going to add milk. Now this is whole milk from our cow. You can use whatever kind of milk you want to use, but I like the whole cow's milk. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and I don't measure this, but if I had to guess, I would think that it's probably, and you know what, I think I will, just, I think I will measure, semi-measure this so you can get an idea. I'm going to pour, I'm going to pour a cup full. So this is one cup, and we'll see if this is too much or not enough for my two cups of flour. So you just start mixing it in. Hopefully you can see this good. And it's definitely going to take the whole cup and probably some more. Yeah, I need some more. So I'm going to pour out another half cup, measure out another half cup here, and let's see how much of this it takes. So you know I had about two and a half cups of flour. You don't want it to be dry because then you'll have dry biscuits. All right, it took that half cup and I need some more. So let's do another half cup. I don't think it's gonna take all of this. That's about the consistency you want that. So it took <clears throat> another fourth of a cup. So it took a cup and three fourths of milk for that amount of flour I had, which I didn't measure exact, but it was about, <clears throat> it was about two and a half cups of flour. 
Now, so I got that mixed in good. Now I'm going to wash my hands. So what I do is I use my table. This is a uh, steramine, which sanitizes. So I'm going to sanitize the table right here. Nice and dry. So now I have a clean surface. I want to put some flour here to put my biscuits, roll my biscuits out on. Now I'm going to take my dough and just put it right there. What you want to do, keep that flour on the table, is you want to just knead it just a little bit. Just knead it until it kind of bounces back at you. See how that's coming back to me? That means the gluten has formed. And you do want some gluten to form because if, if not, your biscuits will fall apart and you won't be able to hold it together. Now, there's two ways to do this. So once I've got it to this place, I can get the rolling pin and roll it out or I can just press it out with my hands. I think I'll get the rolling pin. So here we have the rolling pin. The biscuits are just a little more uniform if you use the rolling pin. See how that dough wants to come come back into shape? That's the gluten doing that. Gives it strength. All right, so I've got that bed it out. I use this chopper for my biscuit cutter. I like the size it makes. Flour it a little bit. When you're cutting your biscuits, you just want to push down. You don't want to twist if you're using a, a glass or anything else, whatever you're using to cut them with. You don't want to twist it. You just want to push down and straight up because hopefully you can see this edge here. But see, you want that raw edge to look just like that. That's going to help your biscuit rise up tall. Where if you were to close these edges off, it would not rise up. Okay, I just realized I did not grease my pan. So I'm going to pause right here and grease my pan. So you can use whatever you want to grease your pan. You can use spray, butter, lard. I am going to use shortening because I already have it out and it's easy. I put it on a paper towel and then I just make sure I get it all all over the surface of my pan. Now I've got my pan greased and just lay your biscuits as you cut them. Lay them in there. I'm hoping to have about 12 biscuits if I guesstimated correctly or I might have 10 but I should have 10 or 12 so once you you, you know your dough is not uh, can't cut any more browns out of it all you got to do is reshape it you're not going to hurt it at all And I think I am going to end up with 12. Maybe 13.
there's number 12. Now, put all the biscuits. So I do have enough for at least one more or two more. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, yeah, I have two little spaces here in my pan. And I'm just going to make two little biscuits to stick right there in those spaces. See? So I actually ended up with 16 biscuits. So now we have a beautiful pan full of biscuits ready to bake. So I have my oven preheated to 425 and I'm going to put this pan right in the center. Now that's going to take anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes. So it's 108. I'll let you know how long it takes. Okay, our biscuits are done. Now, if you wanted to, this would be a good time to brush them on the top with butter. If you wanted to do that, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to be saving these. We're not going to eat them right now, other than the one I'm going to taste here in just a minute. bottoms did not get very brown but that's okay they're done see there's my two little extras this is so easy I know you can do it. All you have to do is try. Now let's cut this open. Oh yes. Beautiful. We'll put some butter on there. Now let's give it a taste. Yum, yum. That is delicious. If I do say so myself. This is comfort food at its best. You need to try this. If you've never made biscuits, then jump in and try them. If you've made biscuits and made them different, jump in and try something new. But in a matter of about 30, 35 minutes, you could be eating one of these delicious homemade biscuits. Just makes you feel all happy inside. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure you hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Tell me about your best memory of homemade biscuits. Um, tell me if you're gonna try them. Um, if you got any tips or tricks or ideas, I would love to hear those too. Please subscribe if you have not already. And be sure you hit the little bell so that you'll be notified when I put out new videos. I do videos on cooking and preserving things here on the farm and inspirational devotions. 
Um, I'm so glad you joined me today. Thanks for coming by to Butterfly Meadows Home and Farm, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.